Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Doom Tech, the almost vanilla single player survival technical world that I am doing here. And since the last episode I have done quite a little bit of AFKing here at the Iron Farm. It's not very fast as I have found out because after four or five hours of AFK I only have about this much iron. Uh, which is alright, I only need like a few stacks of blocks today maybe at most so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take two stacks of iron blocks with me and then the rest I'll leave here and I, today I want to work on getting some more infrastructure done so in last episode we built this iron farm and in this episode I'd like to get a slime farm done so we can get slime blocks to make flying machines and that will be very useful for us in the long term to have any kind of slime farm at all like the iron farm so I'm just gonna head back over to the main base area and I'll dig the slime chunk that is in the spawn chunks there that I've had working for a little bit and I'll complete that and then we'll be good to go with the slime farm. Alright so this is the chunk that we're going to be digging out uh, as you can see I have already got two layers done basically here and yeah it, it wasn't very good Um, so I'm gonna continue digging this out because in the end it will work um, I'm also gonna see if I have any pumpkins real quick because I need to I need to have some iron golems here for this farm to be more efficient um, and yeah I need pumpkins for iron golems I already have the iron um, and maybe I'll go quickly get a beacon maybe I have one efficiency five pick so it might be useful to have a beacon but I don't know uh, I don't think we have enough iron to actually have a full beacon set up so I'll just get I'll just get with the work there then um, I'll probably keep most of the stuff I get from there but most of it's gonna be thrown out thrown away I think uh, let's see do we have pumpkins um yeah it doesn't look like it so I'll need to go find some pumpkins uh, there should be some around here I think if not I'll have to go searching for them but yeah we'll need to get pumpkins and I'll need to start digging that out and on with on with the replay montage
Alright everybody, so as you can see I have completed the slime farm, it is all done now. I blocked that off so I don't accidentally fall down there. And yeah, we've got a little bit of slime here already. Um, because it comes in a little bit too fast sometimes, it comes into this top chest. But it doesn't really matter, it, they'll all be filled up eventually. This this is just a beginning slime farm, you know, like I'm going to do much better stuff eventually. Um, I'm planning to have... A massive perimeter and I'm gonna have in the bottom, very bottom chunk, I'm gonna have a bunch of portals and then I'm gonna have the slimes go into the nether and then that would be pretty fast. But yeah, we need we need to have slime to do a perimeter first because we need a lot of slime blocks for world eaters and stuff. Um, as you can see I've got some food cooking here. Um, got got a few rails left over from that project. When, when I was doing the time lapse there, I... Um, I, I ventured for about 40 minutes look, looking for pumpkin seeds, and I had pumpkin seeds in my chest all along. Uh, so that was a bit of a waste of time, but yeah, that happened. Um, we had 16 pumpkin seeds right there. We have a lot more now, though. So that's fine. Um, I made a new pick. Yeah, I... Okay, yeah. Big brain time. So I had this pick, this Efficiency 5 Silk Touch and Unbreaking 3 pick. I had this pick, and then I used it up, and then I had an efficiency 4 pick, but then that also ran out, and then I enchanted another one that had efficiency 4 and a fortune 3, and I put them together, and now I have a silk touch and a fortune pick, pretty much all ready to go. All I need is mending on them, and then they'll be perfect work picks. Um, I've used the skeleton farm a little bit there during the time lapse as well, and yeah, so... what. Well, there's still quite a bit of time in this episode, so what I'm thinking I might do is I really want to go find a nether fortress. So I might I might go do that like right now. The problem with, I have with the nether though is that, well, this biome sucks massive things. Like it, it is a really bad biome to be in. You, you just can't survive in it and... I could not find a fortress after like a few hours of looking. Previously, um, I was looking over there somewhere, trying to get out of this biome. I think I did eventually, but get out of the biome. I mean, like, like yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go find a fortress. Um, I could just use, you know, one of those seed locator things. Uh, this 
requires a hoe, which I don't have. Okay. I'm just going to build a little ladder over here real quick. And yeah, I'm going to go search for a fortress and then I'll be right back. Okay, so something I just noticed. I feel like I have night vision. Um, I think it's because of replay mod, actually. From when I was editing it, I basically gave myself the night vision effect so that you can see in the caves without light. But it looks like that effect carried on from back then. That was that was a different save, even like like a different game. I mean, like a session, different session. Yeah, I've restarted the game since and. Yeah, it looks like I have night vision now. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, fix that <laughs> next time I I log out of this world. But for now, I have night vision, so that's pretty cool uh, because a torch does nothing. I'm blind. Alright, so I've done a little bit of grinding here and I got myself some Eyes of Ender. I uh, killed a bunch of Endermen. I found a fortress in the nether, got some blaze powder from there. And now we're going to go to the end and then I'm going to try to do an Enderman farm because we need a better XP farm. Uh, I'm going to try to get some Shulker boxes as well. Um, those will be super useful. Um, in recent 1.17 snapshots, uh, I'm recording this like really late, but it's been already like weeks since the last snapshot or when this was announced, but like, um, shulkers will be renewable. However, we're still playing in 1.16, so I'm still going to make a shulker farm in 1.16 with the carpet mod rule where shulkers can respawn in the end cities. And then when 1.17 comes out and all of the mods I'm using get updated and I eventually move to 1.17, then I'll uh, rebuild the Shulker farm and I'll remove the um, rule for Shulkers to respawn. But for now, I'm going to just build a, proper sh build a proper Shulker farm as I intended to before. And it should be a lot faster as well. Uh, I need to get some wood real quick. I need a boat. Um... I'm this rabbit just killed himself good cool um I'm gonna go that way I think um I used the seed locator because I can't be bothered to waste end and the eyes of vendors on this uh, I don't think it's cheating to know um so yeah I'm just gonna make a boat here I think I'm all prepared for the dragon fight um I really didn't bring much with me to be honest though uh, so hopefully it all goes well. Uh, don't have too far to go here, and I'll see you when I get to the end. Good thing I bought 12. Okay. Not the worst start. Okay. I can live with this. It's a nice flat end. Oh boy. I don't have very many arrows, do I? No damage. <gasps> What's this damage protection?
I am a boss. I'm more of a boss than this dragon. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, that's not significant enough for me to care about. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. How did I miss that? Repair my tools. Oh no, I looked at Tenderman. Okay, no one else is mad. <laughs> my tools are already repaired, nice. Okay. That was quite successful, I'd say. Um <laughs> Yeah, that was rather interesting. Um Oh, where was that? Okay, we have 60 levels, um, I think should maybe go try and enchant my gear, or re-enchant some of it, before I lose all these levels. Um, I would very much like to go and check out the rest of the end. Uh, my only worry is that it's going to take absolutely forever to get uh, back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up nether portal so I'm just gonna mine some of this out right now um, and then I'm gonna make another portal um it's gonna go to world spawn over there and check if any XP went through the uh, portal for some reason I didn't think XP goes through the portal but just in case it did oh yeah look at this nice go a few more levels okay so we now have some decent armor um, I have a decent sword, picks, shovel is alright, I suppose, axe is fine, uh, I'll redo the shovel, you know, I would like efficiency for unbreaking three. I'll take that, <laughs> that was just a small upgrade, basically. Alright, so we defeated the Ender Dragon there, and now I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to, um, if I can even get, oh, there we go, and now I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to make myself an Enderman farm, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a shulker box or two real quick, and then I'm going to put some, well, materials in there, and I'm going to go to the end, I think I'm just going to use stone brick, I think, so I'm just going to take all of my uh, smooth stone here. I'm going to go to the end, uh, build some, build a pretty basic farm, nothing too crazy, you know. Uh, just something that will work for now, um, that's the most important thing. And then, after that, I'll probably be back. I think I'm going to make this into another time lapse, so that's going to be pretty cool. Two time lapses in one video. Um, and... I think that's about it. There's a few more materials I'll need to bring, like a minecart and stuff like that. I've already got a name tag. I'll need to name it, though. And this this thing works. I like it. Shows how many things I have. Nice. All right, yeah, I'll see you there.
Oh, no, I'm just going to move away there, <laughs> because that's quite loud. Or well, actually, I'm just going to turn my hostile mobs down. Um, so, yeah, I've finished building the farm here. Um, that's a slight issue, but all I need is carpet there instead of half slabs. Uh, I just didn't have enough wool to make enough carpet. But I'll fix that later. It doesn't actually affect the performance of this too badly. But, yes, as you can see, we have a pretty decent Enderman farm here. It's faster than we can take the XP in, so um, <laughs> that's something. Uh, it wasn't too tough to do, took less than an hour. And yeah, I think that will be about it for today's episode. We did a lot of infrastructure today. We built the slime farm and we built this. Um, the slime farm, we need to get slime blocks for flying machines to remove the world. And so certain farms, maybe. I'm still not a fan of using slime machines or flying machines for farms, but sometimes it is the best way to do it. And then we also built this enderman grinder. We need ender pearls at some point uh, for just getting around some places. And also for XP, which is the main point of this, we can now get pretty much limited XP. I'll be upgrading all of my armor here to, um, well, OP level, basically all of my tools as well. I'll be making OP. I'll probably like bring an enchantment table over here with a few anvils and just grind here for a few days, maybe, and get enough XP that way. But yes, uh, that'll be it for today then. Um, so <laughs> thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you don't want to miss anything out, hit that notification bell. I can speak English totally, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.